Hello? Can you hear me? Is the mic on? Oh, hi, hi, and it's so nice to welcome everybody here for our last concert of this second year. Um, I see some of you um, looking through our um, autumn programme brochure, which is very, very exciting. Um, we're a bit ahead of time, and um, it's good to see you looking through and hopefully booking some dates in your calendar. Um, but for today, for tonight, we have a very, very exciting evening for you, because we will finally see Yulia Kosakova on this stage. Um, some of you may have seen her online performance from last year. Um, and those of you who were here for the Ukraine fundraiser, um, sadly, you wouldn't have seen her perform live here on the stage, but we did project her home video performance, um, which was very, very powerful. Um, so it's been a bit of a journey getting here, but we're here and we're very excited. Um, she is here with her band performing her project Manusha. Um, Manusha means people in Roma language and is also the name of her recently released album which you may have spotted outside as well she's selling tonight and I'm sure she'd appreciate everyone's support. Um, she's also been very busy this week um, teaching a Roma music workshop here at SOAS um, and you will also witness the fruits of that labour um, later because the workshop participants will join her on stage. Um, and also, um, we're very excited about the support performance from one of SOAS students who has been um, learning Roma singing from Yulia. Um, and I think that's about it for now. We'll have a Q&A later. Um, we'd love to hear your feedback after this concert as well outside. Um, but I think for now we're ready to start. So I'm very, very excited to welcome to the stage Taisa Mirza Lynch. The first one is called E Capura, and it's a, it's a love song. E, e Capura, preman pandli, shai durkina. Preblaskiza, joj drači džive spira, ide u paltu te gondolina, mroket vešno. Thank you. Um, I want to invite on the stage uh, Lubomir Gaspar, who is the cymbalon player of Yulia's band and uh, a new friend. Ide 
you, everyone. I, I want to leave the stage to now Yulia, my teacher. Um, she's, she's truly an amazing person, um, great voice, and I'm so happy that she has asked me to be here today. Um, so Yulia Kozakova and uh, her project Manosha and her band, thank you. de vlale pe mange so te era i le rovente la si voia me era la si voia che era ma tu pensa io e te sai Na na na, 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 na na na
much have a very good evening um, I'm so happy that this is actually already here because we were getting ready for this event and for bringing Manusha to 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 London and to the UK very for a very long time so uh, yes I am really excited and also that we are starting at SOAS which is my uh, which is my home university so uh, that's very very nice um, a feeling and occasion. So um, this is our band. Actually, it's it's been one year, I think Maria has mentioned it at the beginning, that we have um, given the online concert for SOAS concert series, and that time it was the very first time that we played together as Manusha. And since then, we released um, a CD, and uh, we are here in person, and, and uh, yes, I think it's very, uh, very good to be here and the support that SOAS uh, has given to me and to this project. So, um, William did the Asian violin. Lubomir Kasparov on cymbalom. Jan Rigo on double bass. And Wojciech Botosz on viola. Naša ďom sa voru
A tu more maruš prema tri daj mana kamel. A tu more maruš prema tri daj mana kamel. Kao mava stur tri daj na kamela. Zletu tuke aj sa romnja so tri daj kamel. Maybe I'd like to something uh, to say something about repertoire um, because uh, you know we sing Roma traditional music, but Roma music is um, sounds differently in every country across the world. So it's a um, bit uh, mm, like a, um, yeah, uh, how to say well, a bit uh, uh, it's maybe strange or different. Um, what makes it different from other musics, because uh, Roma people were adapting, as they were traveling and moving, were adapting always the instruments and musical features from countries where they were settled, but still something remains there, like very special about, like it has its hallmark, and I still can't find a proper name for, for this thing, you know? Um, it sounds differently, sometimes lyrics are, or language is different because Lom Roma language is not only one. Um, there are many dialects, there are many Roma languages across the world. But, you know, so instruments are different, harmonies are different, lyrics, uh, sometimes even topics of the song, but still somehow one can feel that there is something Roma or gypsy in the, in the music. So. Um, these songs that we are singing or playing are from Central Europe, from Slovakia, and uh, and we we are bringing them in their like, uh, let's say, original or traditional way of playing, and uh, really old repertoire of Roma people from our region. Joj ga glave starpira Ja Ide ko te malo vada Ide ko te
already also already said at the beginning that we were um, doing a workshop uh, from Monday until yesterday and uh, we had an amazing group of people that had signed up for this workshop and they have learned a lot of uh, new songs and they have done great job really 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 great job so um, we were doing this workshop uh, not only I was doing this workshop, but also Lubomir Gaspar on Cimbalom. Uh, and I would like to uh, thank you, <laughs> thank to not only being and doing the workshop with me, but also for being my uh, endless support in all these things that I make up and then, <laughs> you know, I sometimes struggle to, to uh, finish. <laughs> but uh, we are successfully here and he's my partner, amazing musician and the one who was making the workshop with me and all that. So <laughs> So and now is the time that I would like to invite our workshop participants on a stage with us because they are very keen to perform what they have learned this week. So please come on. They will start, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> they will start with a um, genre which is called Halgato. Um, a song uh, in, of genre which is called Halgato. I was singing actually a few Halgato songs, uh, those very slow, sad uh, songs in free rhythm. Uh, they have very sad lyrics. Um, and in Roma traditional culture, every person tends to have his or her own Halgato, which likes the most and which is connected to and uh, the person sings the halgato throughout the whole life. So um, I, for me personally, halgato songs are the biggest treasure of Roma uh, culture uh, and all music from our region. So, And they have managed to learn this very serious thing. So yes, please enjoy them. 
Jalas from Nepal, otro
Sugar died on my
not known any of these songs on Monday and they know more <laughs> uh, now I let you to enjoy um, our great band in their instrumental <coughs> piece
só tu queres É lá voltar a pagar já O jacá no baile É lá voltar a pagar já O jacá no baile to really thank to uh, Georgie Pope and her team, <laughs> who is uh, Merye, especially, who is here uh, in front of the camera, and um, that has made this concert possible, but not only this, but many more concerts possible at SOAS. Uh, then also to Jerry, who is taking care uh, for the sound. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, Yes, and of course, SOAS for um, being my university for the past uh, three years. So <laughs> this is a very nice kind of goodbye party with the SOAS for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, and we'll play the last um, um, tune called Dumba la Dumba. And this one uh, is not from Slovakia, but from Romania. <laughs>
Lubomir Gašpar, on je cíl vlaky. Viola.
Julia Kozáková. Bravo! so much Julia thank you to the band and thank you to all the workshop participants as well this is incredible um, now I think we will have a little Q&A with Julia and the band if you're still up for it Um, I will pass the microphone around if anybody has any questions. Oh, so it will be like uh, people from the audience asking yes. questions. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I will take the floor first. Yeah. Anybody? <laughs> Hello, Julia. Um, Hello. I was just going to take you back to two years ago when um, we were opening the Santander Enterprise Grant. Oh. So I just wanted to read why Julia wanted to run a two-day two workshop for um, Roma music. I have both subjective and objective reasons for organizing this. Firstly, I'm really keen to share Roma cultural heritage, which is so close to my heart. Secondly, very frequently, the general imagery of Roma culture is distorted, romanticized, and exoticized. I would like to change this. Two days, rather than four, rather four days, rather than two days two years rather than a couple months for this grant. Explore what you feel and what you feel about the workshop that you've just run. Thank you very much. Thank you for reading this <laughs> as a reminder for me what I have written two years ago. <laughs> so the question like, how do I feel now at the end of it? Um, well, it's still very much inside of me. Like, I think I will better would be asking me tomorrow, maybe, <laughs> because it's still not really finished because I'm sitting here. <laughs> um, but I'm very, I'm very uh, proud of our workshop participants because only now, as I was listening to them performing, I, I realized how, how much I challenged them maybe with how many songs, you know, to, uh, I, I invited them to on the stage and we learned more the songs in this. It, it was not full days, okay? Not imagine that we were spending full days together. It was every day, two hours. Um, so, yes, um, I'm very happy about it. Also, you know, uh, the band has just come yesterday. So I think like I'd better reflect on it in, uh, bit more time <laughs> but uh, I think it's uh, so far it's going quite well <laughs> thank you hi <coughs> you say you have other concerts planned can you tell me where <laughs> or did I just misunderstand uh, no we have a concert tomorrow in uh, Birmingham on Refugee Week Festival. And then um, we have um, on Monday in Green Note here in London. So if you have uh, any friends who, of whom you like to recommend this concert, please do. <laughs> um, and possibly I'll be teaching one more work, work, workshop 
on Monday in one school. So that's our plans in the UK for now. <laughs> there is another. You can also ask our musicians, actually. <laughs> there. Waiting there. <laughs> Julia, I just want to say it was absolutely fantastic. Oh, thank you. And uh, I, wa I was very curious about uh, Manusha. It also means people in India. Really? Oh, yeah. Yes. Georgie, you mentioned it to me, I think, yes. Yeah. And also there were many words. I mean, I really couldn't be sure because I wasn't sure of the context of the song. But there were things like Shabakher and things that you said, which could also be Indian in some ways. So I was curious how that influence traveled to Romania. Do you, do you have any idea? No, well, uh, not really to Romania. Well, Roma people or Romani people or so-called uh, gypsy people uh, are believed to come originally from India. So it's been many, 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 many years, many countries, many travels. But of course, there are various scenarios uh, of where might be the origin of Roma or Gypsy people. But the, the one that is mostly believed and the most like, scientifically, historically approved is the one that they ca came from India. So that's probably why it might be uh, in some words that similar, yes. Thank you. Three more questions. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. That, that was such a wonderful concert. Beautiful. Um, I wanted to ask about the Symbolom because I've, um, this is really the first time I've encountered the Symbolom. I wondered if it would be possible in any way. I don't know if it's going to break it, but if you could tilt it forward because I'd love to see the string formation. Um, is that something you can do without well, it? Can I call you? No? <laughs> <laughs> That is a very clear answer. Thank you. <laughs> but you are very invited to come there, then here and uh, look at it, okay. uh, or try to play it. Uh, so, is it um, what I wanted to ask? Is really like, are you playing the strings on both sides of the frets, or is it um, is it just in the center? Because I don't really understand. <laughs> yeah, please translate. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I think it will be better if Julia answer you because my English is not so well but the question was if I play only on one side with for example with right hand on the uh, right side no I play uh, with all hands for example this is the right side but I can play with my right hand here on left yes it's uh, it's better some places it's better to play uh, with left hand on the left side Yes, but uh, some scales and some chords I play uh, with right hand in the left side, yeah. There is, th this instrument is very interesting because uh, you can't see nothing. On a piano, you, you think, you know, one octave and it's the same. But here is, um, when I drink three beers, I can uh, <laughs> see anything, you know, <laughs> because there is, 133 st strings, you know. <laughs> so is it, is it strong like a piano in that there's like three strings per yes. note? Yes. Yeah. 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 And yeah. how many strings are there in total? I love strings. I'm a harpist. So. How, how many tones or strings? Well, actually, both, because you, you, you've got it over the bridge. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there, is, there is a bridge, but it's uh, five octaves. It's a five of octaves and... 133 strings. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really enjoy uh, your music. Uh, and my question is um, I just noticed like uh, all the music and songs you play tonight are very merry and cheerful. Uh, but, you know, throughout the, the history, we know the Japsi history are n not always full of, you know, those kind of peaceful um, and lovely memories. So is this your kind of intentional selection? 
um, of this cheerful songs, or you have any um, um, how to, uh, ethnol musicology theory mm. or concerning behind it? Uh, thank you for this question. Well, I think I have, I have, uh, we have had uh, at least three very sad and slow songs. Maybe, uh, maybe there were like, um, uh, how how to say, like maybe those cheerful ones were more powerful or more catchy. So maybe uh, you would remember more. But um, one thing, so yeah, you are right. Uh, Roma music has. Um, in the same way as it has very cheerful and happy um, dancing songs or party songs, it also have has a very sad, like deep lament songs. As I was explaining that uh, thing about halgato, you know, I think I sang at least two halgatos, and then the choir sang also one. So. Uh, and this is what I particularly like about Roma culture and Roma music because, you know, I, 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 I thought um, myself that, you know, pain and sadness has, its, has the same um, value in our lives as happiness. And these songs, like this lament, traditional lament songs, Roma songs, are very important tool to, like, um, uh, express and re reveal and release the pain and uh, even you know in the evenings when Roma people are celebrating or partying I was explaining it on a workshop actually that s uh, very often and al almost always there comes a moment when they are being sung these uh, Halgato songs and that's the time when everyone like calms down and listens to each other sometimes even cry with each other hug each other and it it's just there, the sadness is there, and doesn't have to be, you know, in sometimes in the modern world, when somebody cries, we try to stop the person, we try to, oh, why are you crying? No, don't cry, don't cry, you, you know? We don't want to see tears, we don't want to say, say, uh, see pain, but what I have encountered in Roma culture was that actually it's necessary, because then in a minute, it can go away, and we can go on with these uh, happy songs and with party, and everybody feels somehow, you know, lighter, in a way, so uh, that's why maybe even when we started the piece with the slow song, it almost always finished with the happy or dancing song because this is like a short version of you know hour and hour hours long evening process. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thank you for asking. Thanks. Good evening. Would it be possible to describe better the sensation that connect the different uh, Roma music that you were explaining before, but maybe you didn't have enough time to explain it? Uh, like, like, uh, like the, you know, you, you say that basically there are different instruments, different uh, cultures, let's say that, but they are always, let's say, uh, collocated in some ways. Mm. Yes. Um. Yes, well, for example, Roma people in Balkans, if you have seen, we have no brass, for example, we have no, um, you know, and Roma people from Balkans, they would probably have different instruments. They would have uh, even, you know, Vlach Roma that live in our country or in Hungary, but they are of different uh, group, of subgroup of Roma people. They don't use cymbalum at all then they don't use any harmonic instruments. They use more vocal percussions. Um, yeah, so it's a bit, it's, it's different. And it also always depends how and where they were settling in uh, because Roma uh, musicians were very often, you know, invited to play for you know, Roma people in the country where they were settled. So they had to play the repertoire, they had to play the instruments of the majority. So now, you know, the traditional music has taken these things in the Roma music itself. So it's very difficult, you know, it's a big question to, like, also to define is this Roma music or is this not, to what extent, what is traditional, what is not. That's why I'm always saying like we are playing traditional Roma music from our region, which is not that different from Slovak traditional music from our region, which is Slovakia, you know? And in Romania, there is almost no 
difference. You would you couldn't say like if this is a Romanian band or if this is Roma Romanian band, unless you you know. But sometimes even non-Roma people can play like a Roma. But there is something I I don't know how to. That's that's the thing that I was talking about. Like. You kind of can hear it, but also can't. You know, you kind, you can feel what is Roma, or somehow I don't know. I'm getting lost, but you can't find the right name for it. Or yeah, it's tricky. It's difficult. Ex one. Yeah, exactly that. Uh, basically, yeah. So basically, you're saying that if uh, subculture of Roma, subculture of Roma culture, uh, uh, is playing, you could understand that the Rominess. I don't know how to explain as well. Like uh, that's. Basically, what you were saying, right? Mm. I see. Mm -hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Any more? Thank you so much. It was amazing. I actually wanted to expand a little bit what you said about um, your Roman music being a little bit similar to Slovakian mm -hmm. folklore. I was wondering about the themes. I was wondering, you did mention that you have dif different sort of like sad songs and then more like merry songs. And I remember that um, you have the enlisting songs like Verbunk or mm -hmm. Chagdash. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if you also have different, th these kind of like, I don't know, war themed music or anything like that. Yes, we also in Slovak music, we have Verbunk and Chagdash. I don't know if, I don't think there is a Verbunk in Roma music. But Chardash, of course, we will play a lot of Chardash songs tonight. Um, yes, so this is uh, uh, this is similar and a way of playing, you know, an instrumental. Th the same band could perfectly play, you know, Slovak traditional music, a little bit maybe in different um, uh, har harmonies or with a bit different feel, but uh, you know. This can be perfectly Slovak traditional band and play Slovak Chardash songs. Interesting, but you don't really have all these like songs just for men to dance to, or in in Slovakia, in, yes. No, no, in Roma music. In Roma music, no. I don't think if Verbung from Tribute, Verbung I don't think. Uh, rather no, like um, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Thank you. Mm. Okay, thank you everybody for the questions and I think we need to let our musicians go and rest and everybody needs to have a drink. So one more time for Yulia and the band, thank you so much for joining us tonight.